these are freaking awesome characters. Dude, this is hype! This is hype! What is this? What the heck? These trailers go harder than the Genshin Impact ones. What the? So, we're back with more Hoyoverse. Lads, ladies, what's the crack? We're back with some more Hoyoverse content. And today, I have listened to the people of the community. So many of you have been mentioning Honkai Star Rail. Are you all right? Is this game really that good? What's so great about it? Well, I tell you what, I'm gonna find out here today in today's video. So if that gets you all hot and bothered under the collar with excitement, you know what to do. Subscribe. No, seriously, just just hit that red subscribe button. It, it, it honestly it doesn't bite because like that would be great you know why that would be great because then you'll get notified on the next video which will be i watch everything genshin impact from 2022 to 2024 part two except this time my boy is pulling through for me mark swan shot the guy that's responsible for previous genshin lists that i've reacted to before is going to be doing a spoiler free list for me yes Spoiler free. Spoiler free. <laughs> Here on the channel that I will live react to. So if that gets you all excited, you know what to do. Subscribe. Anyway, lads, today we're going to be checking out a different video game in the world of the Hoyoverse. And that game is Honkai Star Rail. Now, a lot of you, like I said, have mentioned in the comments this game is very good and it's actually turn-based, which gets me really excited. I didn't know that because I do like turn-based games and I love the original Final Fantasies that were turn-based. They were a huge part of my childhood. So, a game with these beautiful, gorgeous visuals and waifus for days, then I'm excited to get my hands on this one. Now, here's a fair warning. This is going to be a multi-part series as well, simply because there are over 80 trailers. How? From the very beginning to now, there's over 80 trailers of Honkai Star Rail. So I'm going to do my best to make this a two-part series and not make it extend any more than that, because I'm not milking any Hoyoverse cows here. <laughs> I just want to see what I'm missing out on. All that being said, boys and girls, get your headphones on for the best experience. Let's watch every single Honkai Star Rail trailer right now. All right, lads. So here is our ginormous list of trailers. Currently, there is 79, but I've got word from Mark that there's more on the way, so there's going to be 80 plus trailers for us to react to here today. Now, as you can see, there's going to be a couple of these highlighted in different colors. The ones that are in orange are showcasing different music, and they're also quite cinematic, so we're going to be live reacting to those. And the blue ones are basically explanations of characters and showcasing their skills and their abilities and how they play in the game. So, this is a big chunky list and a huge shout out to Mark's One Shot. If you want to go check out his YouTube channel, link in the first line in the description. Now, you may notice a quick cut to me wearing something else as I recorded some reactions previously to, to this part of the video. So, enjoy that part and then come back to present day DB Geek. Anyway, lads, let's get reacting to each and every one of these Honkai Star Rail trailers. We're going to get straight in to the reveal trailer, which is next up the stars reveal trailer list i'm assuming is their official announcement of this game and we might get a glimpse of what it has to offer so let's check it out okay i see space and i see a train in my, in my body are you trying to catch the stars <laughs> many millennia have passed is this what your relo 6 has become Are you ready for your first trailblazing expedition since joining the crew? Let's get going! Okay, so the one thing that I'm really curious about is the type of gameplay this game actually has to offer. Is it turn-based? Because I love turn-based games.
Okay, we got our cutesy characters. Okay, we got some really interesting characters already. Alright, it's looking like it is turn based. Oh, yes! Cool guy with glasses! Honkai Star Rail. Humans never conceal their desire to control the heavens. Oh my god. So why would I? Is that what Deluke looks like as a girl? May this journey lead us. Starwood. First closed beta sign up. Man, when was this trailer out? Two years ago. Okay, yeah, this game is not new. Or that trailer came out in October 8, 2021. All right, so next trailer we got here is Let's Take a Photo. I'm not sure what that means. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to take pictures of everything that's new to me. That way I won't forget about them. Huh? March 7th? Hey, wait for me. <laughs> Wait, what's that about? Did she just get a flashback to you guys? A hidden memory? Came for the snapshot, huh? Alright, so we're actually getting a very decent look at this character. Music's the bop, holy shit, yeah! <laughs> Say cheese! Are we gonna get her name? So, what do you think? Oh, uh, cute! Mm -hmm. Hey, focus! Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Smile! I'm gonna keep our first photo, alright? Right, so next thing we have your choice, the second beta trailer. Make one that you know you won't regret. Whoa, what the frick is that? A mech? Okay, it's a much more serious trailer the than the previous the two. All that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. Okay, so is this giving us a glimpse of the world that we can explore? Okay, looks like we can have like pets or companions. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Yo, oh my god, this game is turn based. I love that. I love turn based games, dude. This music is fire as well. Some of the character designs are badass too. Yo. Time to get up. Ooh, 
dude. Nah, that's that's the kind of trailer that gets me excited, dude. Some really interesting characters. I love her voice acting as well. Let's keep going, dude. I'm I'm on the hype now. I'm on the hype. All right, a short play opening cutscene. We're getting an opening cutscene. Yes. It's only a minute long, but I don't care. This is gonna be cool. So, like, we're in space, obviously, right? Do we travel to different planets or something? I'm so intrigued by the lore. I need to know more. Black holes opening up randomly in places. We're playing air violins. Plot just keeps thickening. Very interesting. Let's keep moving. Uh, we have the Cusp of Ignition. Serval trailer. Okay, so we're actually getting a name of a character. Serval. Serval? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry if I got it wrong. Don't come at me. Oh my god, the hair. That's awesome. Wait, why is everything glitching out? We in Twilight Town? What is this? Keep up. I move at my own tempo. Oh. All right. Was not expecting a bop. Excuse me. Favorite character. Favorite character unlocked. This is badass. Her guitar is a weapon. Devil May Cry 3 much? I love that, dude. Okay, I knew I was going to get hyped watching these trailers, but goddamn. To you who will soon depart. Summer Game Fest 2022. <gasps> okay, Summer Game Fest trailer. Yeah, we're in space. Okay. Seems to be an emergency. Some sort of an invasion of sorts. Oh my god. We got a Listen, we got a piccolo saving. You are in a daze uh, right now. Gohan situation. You don't know who you are, why you're here. None of that matters. In the near future, you will encounter many perils. You will meet companions who treat you like family, and embark on unimaginable adventures. I like her, dude. She's interesting. And what did she just do? What did she just do there, man? The logo is awesome as well. Very Final Fantasy-esque. I love that. And it looks like it's like um, their HQ. Oh, no. It's actually a train. Is that a train? That's a train. Smashing into a planet. That's so sick. I have wine to soothe the soul. That looks like a Genshin character. Of honored guests. Welcome aboard the Cienjo La Pool. Dude, this game looks cool, dude. I just need to see more gameplay. I need to see more gameplay. I need to know what I'm getting myself into. This is EP Out of Control Honkai Star Rail. Let's have a look at this. Oh, hang on now. This is what I'm talking about. Gameplay. All right, so we're getting a, a look at the space station. Cool, cool. So it just gives us kind of like environmental uh, showcase. Looks real crisp. I love it. Actually looks super crisp.
Dude, this is like some streamer background music, man. Oh, like this? I need to play this in the background of my streams. Is there more of these? This is called a Hoyo mix. Okay. glimpse of some of the character designs as well oh wait for the drop yes oh right that's an enemy right all right so that was called freestyle this one's called the game is on The female Deluke. This oh, reminds me of Deluke with the crimson red hair and black and white attire. Very, very cool. This is a bop, dude. These are all a bop. How long is this? Oh, it's almost over. There's a few of these on the list, lads. That's cool, dude. That's cool. By the way, if you're watching this, you're a hardcore fan of the channel. Thanks. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, but if you love the content here or if you're enjoying this so far and you if you want to volunteer and doing timestamps, that would be that would be awesome. And I'd really appreciate it. And I'd give you I'd give you a special shout out mention. That'd be great. Thanks. Snow and Ember. Okay, so this is Ember. What's this called? Bellabog. Bellabog? I like the name. Oh, okay. This looks real nice. She looks real nice. Oh, that's chill. Oh, that's so chill. Why is that so chill, bro? Now this is called Buzzing. Oh, is it the same city at night? I think so. Bellabog. It's an easy one to remember, actually. The city of Bellabog. Oh, this is a funky beat. Is that like some sort of fight club?
Nice. That's cool. I like Bellabog. Right, so now we're moving on to a Gamescom trailer back in 2022, which is only last year. This is Nightmare. Honkai Star Rail. Dude, I can't get over these cinematic visuals. They're so pretty. I'm curious to know about the lore of the train and why is it a train that's in space and not an actual spaceship. Dude. Of five people. They look like Monados. Must pay a price. You are not one of them. This is one of our villains. Antagonist. You are one of them. <laughs> the Shencho is in danger. This man, he... The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. What, into hyperspeed? Okay, so we're getting, like, little subtle looks into characters and, like, little glimpses into backstory and, and all that stuff. Which is nice, because it gets you kind of, like, interested. Which I'm already quite interested in this. Um, now we have Witness, Tokyo Game Show. Okay. I also want to ask the... Uh, Hoyoverse community, like, the regarding, I'll oh, pause it, regarding content and stuff, uh, with this game, like, how frequent is it? The one thing that really overwhelmed me with Genshin Impact was the amount of content that was coming out, like, on a weekly basis. Um, it was almost, like, it was never gonna end, which is great for the hardcore players and all that, but I'm very casual myself as a player, so... Is Honkai Star Rail kind of similar to that regarding its content? Is there constantly new stuff coming out um, frequently? Or is it a little bit more intermittent and there's not, like, it gives you chance a chance to play the game, enjoy the game before worrying about the new stuff? Let me know. Let me know about that. I'm curious. Because I know Hoyoverse, they're very good at just pumping out stuff. I don't know how they do it. Honestly, I don't know. Because it's not like it's half-ass stuff as well. It's always quality content. So I'm curious. Let me know. Eons. The Astro Express. Like That's what it's called, yeah. Science fiction movie the something. Astral Express. Wait a minute, what? Go back there. Hang on a minute. Is this a character that has been isekai'd into the Hoyoverse? Or Hawkeye oh Star Rail? Go back, go back, go back. I want to listen to what he's saying. Can I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? Oh my god! He's He's been ise isekai'd. Isekai'd. You also have another option. If you want... You can leave with us. Sometimes we stop in other worlds and we'll continue to do so. Okay, so there's different worlds it's to explore. Looking out at a world from a window like this. But when you set foot on the planet itself, you realize how small and helpless you really are. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. Our ancestors built the city, striving in the bitter Bellabog. snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time. But eventually, we will make a gorgeous pattern. The next stop pave the way for the future that is written long time no see astral express crew i'd like you to make a destination alteration okay so hang on it's not over there's more there's more <laughs> oh my god finally Wait. Rudimentary. Who's this? Your every move. She turned in the bullets? By the Omnisia. Oh. Divination Commission. Uh, what? Excuse me? How? Right. Okay. That trailer gave me a lot more information 
than I was actually expecting. From what I gather, there is a character in this. I don't know if it's the main character or a character you can play as. Maybe it's like Genshin. You can play as either a boy or a girl. But you are essentially playing a character that got isekai into Honkai Star Rail, which essentially is similar to Genshin as you play as the traveler who was taken from his own world and put into the world of Genshin. So that's very similar. But this character feels like it's uh, somebody that had been pulled straight out of like our society and our normality of life and put into as he stated a science fiction movie and that's cool now i'm really curious because i do love a good isekai anime overlord at that time we got reincarnated as a slime like those shows man are so good and sort of are in line season one <laughs> um but yeah i really enjoy those so that that's really got me kind of like super hyped uh, okay so we have another thing called space comedy final beta trailer so the game's not actually officially out yet then and this is 2022 still right so it is still a very new game wait a minute hang on a minute there's Okay, so, so we get characters here, and their names, Herta, Kafka, Blade, isn't that the guy that was like evil, no? What a name! Luicha and, I didn't get that, hang on, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll go back over this now in a minute. Queen Q. Queen Q? And Fu Yan. I'm never gonna remember any of these names. It's getting it back all over again. Yan Queen. This guy, what's his name? Jing Yuan. Ting Yun. might be right in what I was saying there yeah there this this character here is this the female version I think I think you get an option to play as a boy or a girl and this is the character you play as I think I think maybe I'm wrong I'm not sure kids have all the fun I'd like to explore the ship myself <laughs> patience I think you're in for a surprise Okay, I'm, I'm very much intrigued, lads. Very, very much intrigued. All right, let's move on then. From there, we're on a Torrid Heat Balu trailer. External heat needs inner cooling. Internal heat needs outer soothing. And if you're still not sure, there's more than one here. What sort of tail is that? Is she a dragon? Is she a little dragon? I've never seen that before. Be Balu, is it? Balu? Alchemy Commission Healer later. Oh, it's a healer. Okay. All right, so we're going to have healers and tanks. Okay. It's very, very cutesy. I like it. Okay. She can also dish out some ass weapons. So this is our first official character trailer? Like actual character trailer? Cool. I might turn on uh, captions. Chasing after her own tail. Seriously? <laughs> Alright, so that was like our first sort of character trailer, I want to say. Because this is Bailu trailer there. We didn't actually get one before that. There was, like, let's take a photo. We introduced the character, but didn't give her name. So that was kind of weird. We also now have Temper Chill. Yang King. Is it Yang, Yang King? I don't say Yang King. <laughs> uh, but this is another character trailer. Swordsmanship isn't just about maintaining your skills. You have to put them to the test if you want to learn something new. So, if you're not busy today, want to go a few rounds? 
Waku Cloud Knight, Lieutenant Yun Chin, reporting for duty. No matter the opponent, a clash of swords is all I need. Yun Chin, is that what he said? Hang on, go back, go back, go back. Strong I wasn't paying attention. Put them to the test if you want to learn something new. So, if you're not busy today, want to go a few rounds? Waku Cloud Knight, Lieutenant Yun Chin, reporting for Yun Yun Chin. Okay, it's for on captions as well. No matter the opponent, a clash of swords is all I need to get ahead. Strong adversaries make for strong improvements. Blade and swipe! Huh. I tell you one thing, dude. Hoyovers know how to put together a trailer. You did better than most. It's so stylized, I love it. Today's practice. Sword sheet. Hmm. Very cool. Very, very cool. I like that. What I really want to see though is like combat gameplay. I need to see that now. Now we have Star Chaser Himiko trailer. Oh my god, it's the female Deluke. We're gonna get our trailer. There are endless possibilities and unknowns among the stars. Our journey is the process of pulling apart the threads of possibility to seek the final truth. I am Amy, the navigator. Welcome to the Astral Express. The Express doesn't have a clear destination because every passenger's destination is unique. I'm sure we're about to embark on a fascinating journey together. I have something for you. Combat is a series of precise machinations. One at a time. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. I am no exception. Trailblazing means that every step we take is a step closer to the stars. That is my answer. A new trailblazing journey has just begun. Well, okay, so you might have noticed I didn't say much there. I was infatuated by her. <laughs> I forgot I was recording there for a second, lad. Sorry about that. Right, so now we're in the name of Landau. I'm a captain of the Silver Main Guards. To the Silver Main Guards? It's my responsibility. Very groovy. Bellabog is this planet's last bastion. Bellabog! Love Bellabog. Love it already, and I've never explored it. Just and looks so chill. The main guards are Bellabog's indestructible shield. Okay, so they're the knights, essentially, of Bellabog. You will cool. know justice. We're gonna get gameplay, or we're we just gonna get cool cinematics still. This ends here. Dude, what is that weapon? What is that? A gun? Or just a big piece of metal he swings around. I'm here to the end. Only by becoming a shield for the people is one worthy of the title architect. Trust must never be betrayed. Hopes must never be squandered. He's cool, dude. Swinging around a big chunk of metal. Let yourself fall into it all. Okay. <laughs> he likes his music. Wait, does he got earbuds on? All right then, lads. We're now on Uneventful Night. Seal trailer. <laughs> Here they come again. Oh. Making trouble on Wildfire's territory? You guys got a lot of nerve. Butterfly of Tempest. Whoa. Still here. Love the color schemes. I'm very, very things. cool. Just got complicated. Sometimes a sharp blade is the only way to 
Whoa, we got another person here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's make this quick. Don't tell me what to do. There's always a weakness. How about this move? Oh, she has a sight. That's now cool. Slip through the net. Very Ruby esque. Stop holding me back, Overworlder. Well, they're very alike. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. What? <laughs> Hype! I'm getting hyped. Damn it, I'm getting hyped. Shit. Shit, I need to play Genshin again first. God damn it! All right, so now we have Interstellar Journey official, official release trailer, and now we're here, lads. Official release. Look, see, oh, look at the artwork. That's the just the two characters. Okay. We got a banger tune as well. This is a tune, lad. Oh my god. Yes! Ooh. Oh, who's that character? Whoa, some more characters. Oh my god! Yes! Are you popping right now? Whoa! That was the MC, right? I wonder if you get to choose your like power, your elemental and stuff. Okay, that was hype. That was hype. Available the 26th of April. So that's when it came out. <gasps> What? So it's not that actually that old. This game is actually really, really new then. Sort of, like almost new, over a year old, but still. Okay, so now we have these blue yorks. Sila, the mysterious underworlder who vanished into thin air. Okay, this might actually give us a character dump as well. I wonder if it's like similar to the Genshin ones. Ooh, and whether or not your world has a day night nice cycle. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Huh? Hey, Albert. And welcome to this Albert. episode of I love it. Keeping Up with Star Rail. Every episode, we bring you a talent from the wide, wide universe. Today's hero comes from Yarillo 6. She's the guardian of the underworld. Jarillo the Six? violent night delivery girl. The most oh, yes. secret hero. All right. Let's see who comes up with these names, am I right? Miss Sela. So it's Sela. Quantum. Wait, to wait, better wait. understand. Go back there a sec. Go back there a sec. Go back there. Go back there a sec. Oh, yeah. Right, so type quantum. Right, so it's like a, the type of attack she does. Uh, path the hunt. Okay, I'm not really sure what that means. To better but I'm intrigued. Extraordinary gal. We've invited a special guest from Urillo 6. Bella Bog's next guardian, Miss Branya. That's me. Hello, everyone. Let's cut to the chase, Miss Branya. Would you do us the honor of introducing today's protagonist? Zila belongs to the noble resistance group Wildfire. She is a formidable quantum type single target damager following the okay, path of the Okay, so hunt. this is this is awesome because we're actually getting the characters more. Hold up a second. Noble resistance group. That's right. I got to double check something. You are Bella Bog's next guardian, right? Yes, what's wrong? <laughs> Zila's basic oh, attack yes! deals this quantum is what I've been waiting damage for. to a single enemy. Consume yes, it is turn-based, like actual turn-based. That's cool. To deal higher quantum yep. damage and increase and it looks so pretty. For a set number of turns. I will say, she runs pretty fast for an underworlder. After defeating an enemy with her talent, Resurgence, Zila gains an extra turn, which doesn't consume her upcoming turn. 
Okay. She also gains a buff for one turn, during which her damage increases. It's worth remembering that within the aforementioned extra turn, Resurgence cannot be retriggered, and Zila isn't able to use her ultimate. Okay. The backbone of Wildfire knows how to conceal her tracks. This game looks so pretty. World, Zila can use her technique Phantom Illusion to gain stealth for a set time. Zila cannot be detected by enemies when stealth is active. And using stealth to launch a sneak attack grants her a buff when combat begins. Okay, so when you attack, on wildfire suspects vanishing ah, in thin air. it triggers the fight. Seems like I finally have my answer. Dude, I like this. When Zila unleashes her ultimate butterfly flurry, <laughs> I recommend running away. She immediately gains a buff and deals supernova levels of quantum damage to a single enemy. Uh oh, looks like our silver main friends just ran into trouble. Huh, she's the only one in trouble. Silver main soldiers, forward. Don't let her win. And Miss Zila is sizing up the situation. Three silver main guards. Okay, so the silver main soldiers are the guardians of Bellabog, right? Uh oh, so Zila made her move. She sent the first guard packing and immediately attacked the second. Way she way attacking by to your HP, gentlemen. In combat, try to leave enemies with low HP for Zila to take care of or use her ultimate at opportune moments to clear them out that way her talent resurgence can be maximized to provide consecutive actions who said are you on again and the animations are so Look good as well at that. no time to react zila used her ultimate butterfly flurry to finish an enemy and got an extra action oh whoa Ooh. the ultimates the are cool <laughs> We interrupt this broadcast for an emergency message. Kakolia, Supreme Guardian of Bellabog, has issued our station with a stern complaint concerning our coverage of wildfire members, as well as Silvermaid Guard combat deficiencies. Aren't you the next Supreme Guardian? Yes, but not yet. Uh. What's going on? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that's awesome. I love these because we actually got to see Sila and hear a bit about her backstory or lore and stuff. So cool. And we actually got to see the gameplay, which is something that I've been really waiting for. So that was, that's cool. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we got a couple of these. Uh, now we have Bronya, Secrets of the Next Supreme Guardian. Okay, so this is, okay, okay. This is, okay. Shh, sh shut up. Little Timmy, shut up. I'm listening to this. Endearing demeanor and composure that belies her young ears. <laughs> That's how the people of Bellabog see her. But others say she's a girl of secrets with a mysterious past and occasional outbursts of rebellion. So what's the truth of the matter? Find out with us in another episode of Keeping up with Star Rail. Let's get an inside look at the heir to the Supreme Guardian of Bellabog, commander of the Silverman Guards, Lady Branya. She's the commander of the Silverman Guards. Branya is a wind type fighter following the path of Hence Harmony, the color scheme, who I guess. Her companions to victory in the name of the Amber Lord. As the Supreme Guardian to be, sharpshooting is a must-have in Branya's skill set. Oh, she's a sniper, basic dude. basic attack, Wind Rider Bullet, a rifle, deals though. wind a damage to a single target. Damn, that's Branya's sick. Branya's talent leading the way makes sure that she's always one step ahead. After her basic attack, Branya's next action will be advanced forward. Consume a skill point and use her skill combat redeployment to I remove like a layout. debuff from an ally. The ally is granted I like that the characters are up the there is also and like the enemies as well. Number of turns. It's very clean. Uh, I could do with some combat redeployment. <laughs> Maybe if I got paid triple overtime, I'd remove my debuffs myself. You listen in HR? Oh my god, dude. exploration, use Branya's technique, Banner of Command, to boost all allies' attack for a set number of turns after combat begins. Where Branya's bayonet goes, the whole team follows. Branya uses her ultimate, the Bellabog March, to boost all allies' attack and critical damage for a set number of turns. Ooh, 
now, let's see who's foolish enough to stand against the future Guardian and her friends. <laughs> the Trailblazer kicks off the round with their skill, Ooh, but the enemies barely feel a thing. At this point, Branya decides against a direct attack. Instead, she uses combat redeployment on the Trailblazer, boosting their damage and granting them an instant Whoa, action. So he's called the Trailblazer? Branya excels at using her skills to change the team's order of actions, allowing for the flexible execution of various tactics. Hold on! Branya uses her ultimate and boosts all allies' attack and critical damage! Whew! Damn! Enemies defeated and glory to the Amber! As Dude. the future Supreme Guardian, took all three. Branya shoulders too many responsibilities for her age. What the heck? Thankfully, she has the love and support of companions who are willing to share her burden. As for rumors regarding her private talks with a certain resistance activist, don't believe everything you read in the papers. It's ridiculous. Right? I'm really interested in the gameplay now. Like, it looks so pretty, and I love the layout of the gameplay as well. Like, seeing the enemies and the and your your allies there, and you can kind of select which ones you want to go for and stuff. I really, I think that's cool. And it seems like each of these characters have a unique kind of trait to bring to the fight, which actually makes, like, the combat super enjoyable once you get to learn it. This is going to be really cool, dude. I'm going to enjoy this a lot, I think. I really am. All right, so next we got two more of these. Uh, this is Clara, Beware of... Automatons. Okay, so this is another one of these. Let's have a look. These are nice because we get a nice insight into the gameplay and There's the characters. There's a strange tale circulating in Bellabog's underworld. The robot named Sparog is antagonistic toward most residents here, but shows human-like emotion and thought for one girl in particular. Though the worlds of blood and oil couldn't be further apart, the relationship between these two is akin to family. Wait, she's got a whole freaking... Clara is a physical type fighter following tank. the path of destruction. With her. Despite her fragility, she's a tank. this little girl has her own way of doing battle. When Clara uses her basic attack, Svarog will deal physical damage to a single enemy. Under Svarog's protection, the damage taken by Clara is reduced. Svarog will place a mark of counter on any enemy that attacks Clara and deal them a ferocious counterattack. Cool. cool. Svarog is constantly That's watching really the cool. enemy's every move in battle. Consume a skill point and use Clara's skills. Svarog watches over you for Svarog to deal physical damage to Svarog. all enemies as well as extra physical damage to enemies tagged with a mark of counter. All marks of counter are removed after Clara's skill is used. When Clara uses her technique to enter battle while exploring, she increases the chance of enemies attacking her for a few turns, allowing Svarog's counter to be triggered more frequently. Svarog's protection of Clara stems from a promise, not a command. When Clara uses her ultimate, Svarog protects her in a more comprehensive manner. Damage received by Clara is further decreased, and the chance of enemies attacking her is significantly increased for a set number of turns. At the same time, Svarog's counters are enhanced and he immediately unleashes them against any enemy that attacks an ally. Plus, Svarog's damage increases and he deals a set amount to enemies adjacent to the target. But Svarog's enhanced counters are limited. The chaotic underworld is home to many a foolish vagrant seeking to challenge Svarog's status. Down here, Svarog must rely on his iron fist to uphold order. Three enemies launch an attack on Clara. Svarog players the blows, delivers his counters, and catalogs the attackers, tagging each with a mark of counter. Clara uses her skill for Svarog to launch missiles and deal damage to all enemies. Due to the existing marks of counter, all enemies receive extra damage, and the battlefield is wiped clean. Now, Clara uses her ultimate to deal with an aggressive second wave of enemies. Svarog's counters are now enhanced. He will counter enemies whenever an ally is attacked and deal damage to enemies adjacent to the enemy target. So, like, what does Clara do exactly? Svarog's counterattacks repel doing the challengers. <laughs> and order is returned to the underworld once again. Cool, though. 
As an old era security robot, Svarog witnessed the war oh, between the Urello Six natives robot. and the Antimatter Legion, as well as the Stellaron's activation and the arrival of the Eternal Freeze. Oh, what's the Eternal Freeze? He sealed away every one of these secrets, and in the subsequent era of peace, his concern has been the preservation of order beneath the surface. Though it seems like being Clara's photographer is a close second. Priorities, man. All right, okay. <laughs> Takes pictures of her. <laughs> Creepy robot. This is Welts back to the front line. Whoo! From historical research to animation production, this dependable senior crew member is the encyclopedia of everything. Smart guy. And speaking of animation, cool guy with if Mr. Yang had a starring role in his own series, he'd be mm, the reliable uncle, only revealing his strength in moments of crisis. Welt is an imaginary type fighter, following the path of Nihility. He uses Star of Eden to manipulate gravity in battle. What? Welt's basic attack, gravity suppression, deals imaginary damage to a single target. Imaginary damage. Consume a skill point to use his skill, Edge of the Void. A three slash combo that deals imaginary damage to a single target and hits additional random targets. After a successful strike, there is a chance that Welt's skill will reduce the target speed for a set number of turns. When Welt hits a slowed enemy, he deals additional imaginary damage to the target. Ah, a substantial amount. During exploration, Welt can use his technique, gravitational imprisonment, to create a dimension that disappears after a set time. The dimension reduces the movement speed of the enemies within its range and has a probability of imprisoning them when a battle is initiated. Whoa, so you can actually manipulate the world before going into combat. That affects combat. And can take effect. That's really freaking cool. Welt uses his ultimate synthetic black hole to unleash Star of Eden's power and draw his enemies into a black hole. Shit, that's epic. All enemies receive imaginary damage with a chance of becoming imprisoned. As Welt steps eagerly into this new adventure, he finally has the chance to demonstrate the power he possessed in his prime. First, Welt uses his skill, Edge of the Void, to deal damage to multiple targets and reduce their speed. After the initial clash, Welt uses his skill once more. The already slowed enemies receive additional damage from this attack. Before the enemies can launch a counterattack, Welt unleashes his ultimate. The synthetic black hole devours all enemies, dealing imaginary damage and imprisoning them. Delayed enemy actions means our actions are advanced forward. Our team finishes off the imprisoned enemies Trail before Blazer. they even had a chance to break free. I'm, I'm assuming <laughs> that's what they're called. Victory. Mr. Yang is a man of few words, but those words are a window into a brilliant past. He once risked life and limb to save humanity, but is no stranger to the peace and tranquility of a simple working life. Be that as it may, peace and tranquility were never enough to dull Welt's fighting spirit. With rekindled passion, he is once again ready to embark on another journey. Dude, these character trailers are really cool, man, because they're giving me a nice amount of insight into the gameplay. Oh, well, well uh, the presence of DB Geek is back. Did you enjoy my uh, past self reactions to Honkai Star Rail stuff? Bet you did. Uh, here we are. This is where we left, where, where I left off. Uh, with uh, Welt's Back to the Fort Line Nurture New Talents. That's uh, the 21st trailer that we watched. But now we're on Myriad Celestia trailer. Fables about the stars, part one. So, so far, what I'm getting from this game is a lot of amazing video game mechanics in the turn-based uh, genre of things. I love the colorful characters. There's a nice range of different characters already available as well, which makes it even awesome. I want to see what else is going to be introduced into this and what has been introduced to it. So, Myriad Celestia trailer, let's jump in right now. An exchange of memories. An exchange of memories, ooh. I dreamed of a ray of light, of a crystal chalice. The light that shone from that crystal spoke to me. Listen to the parable of the stars. The nameless one, the pathless one, 
arrived from the edge of the wilderness, clad in stellar radiance. Those candles Go or crystals? Now, march unwaveringly into solar wind. At the end, you will return to my embrace, but march towards the light. Nanook, the destruction. Yet that light began to burn, piercing through the clouds as a golden death. Where are the elbows? Towers crumbled, and the people fled, for the sun was soon to set and meet with vicious destruction. Man's got no elbows. But be not Land dismayed, the hunt. O child of the world. The Lux Arrow will descend to purge the wicked abominations. You must follow the traces left behind in the storm's wake. News the Irreducial. The Celestial One guards their secrets, plotting out the roots that connect all things. But they are silent, like a shroud of mist at the center of the universe. Listen to the silence, and you will know where the stars are resting. Let your staff strike the earth, the they say. Yaoshi, Yaoshi, not Yaoshi. And again. The tender sprouts will grow to the sky, and the dew that Whoa! falls from the branches These will are you freaking a awesome characters. Poison. Blindfold your eyes, they say. That what? the approaching darkness may strike no fear in you. Let it not burden your soul. Nor numb your stride. Is that a sad one? Open majestic gates, they say, the and lift up the, the towers of Lapis. Read them aloud. Let the fire that forged the bricks and the ones that laid the walls' foundations be known. Zipe the harmony. Then they say, "Oh, you who have reached the end." Enter into the paradise that envelops all. Join this great choir and feast. Listen to the beating of billions upon billions of hearts, holding you in their embrace. Look upon the courtesan's extravagance, the mariner's intemperance. Listen to the infant in the mirror, the waves as they enter the dream, the tipping of the balance, the shapeless prince. And finally, measure the world against yourself, and take all such things to heart. This is the path you should walk, they say. Aki Vili, depart once more. Aki Vili. Countless shooting stars streak the sky tonight. Should you choose the right one? It will carry your wish to thousands of distant worlds. I have no idea what I just watched or what the f*** was going on, but I was very much interested in those character designs. They were awesome. Very celestial-like, god-like beings that were planet-sized, apparently. What? We're now on Myriad Celestia trailer, History of Jian Zhao, Seven Arbiter Generals. Then we get nice lore-filled trailers. I like it. Very few legends. For what room is there to create legends among those who do not die? But there is one distant legend that can still be recounted. The story of the Cloud Knight Generals. It began 8,000 years ago, when the emperor of an ancient kingdom yearned for both legacy and immortality. He sent our Sienjo ancestors into the astral seas. And through the boundless stellar reaches sailed, great ships in isolation softly veiled. Wait, there's ships after voyaging 2000 years the ships discovered traces of the divine the plague's author revealed themselves and offered an immeasurable lifespan but the blessing was a curse those who exceeded their lifespan became the deathless doom 
Deathless Doom. Oh, dude, and what thus the, the alliance is long what and are peaceful into? in years. We're lost in sickness, treachery, blood, and tears. At the very precipice of the Sienjo's existence, the Rainbow Arbiter descended and redeemed the crumbling alliance. For the next 5,000 years, the Alliance voyaged the vast cosmos, purifying the universe under divine mandate. Heading the six ships were the vanguards of the hunt, the seven Arbiter Generals. Behold at the Marshal's side, six Generals of renown. Fierce and swift is Fei Xiao. The Merlin's Claw. Face Xiao, the Merlin's Claw. That's awesome. Strong and righteous is Hua Yen, the Flaming Heart. Hua Yen, the Flaming Heart. Cautious and sophisticated is Yao Guang, Yao the Wang. Seer Strategist. Seer Strategist. Mighty and powerful is Xuan Quan, the Seish Queller. Seish Mysterious Quella. and fair is Yo Wu, the potato. Yo Wu! Wise and brave is Jing Yuan, the Jing divine Yuan. foresight. Divine foresight. The seven arbiter generals wield extraordinary powers. Intelligent and visionary Jing Yuan of the Law Fu is admired by friends and feared by foes. With skillful sleight of hand, the trap was set. The Borson soon, with crushing loss, were met. An army must be of one heart and mind, where skillful sleight of hand is little use. The Cloud Knights entrusted their lives to me. I shall not fail them. And who's this talking? Glory right? to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! Glory to the Shenzhou! Glory to the Cloud Knights! The hunt is with us! <laughs> quite the story, Master Gongshu. Yeah. That's quite the story, alright. Man, there's some serious lore in this game. I like it. I like it. I wish I knew what any of it meant. Now, we have a flash, and it's an animated short. This is gonna be like anime, dude. This is, this is literally gonna be like a mini anime episode. I'm hyped! Whoa, that transition was sick. Whoa. What the heck? This is so good. Heed this, this oath. Production is amazing. As clouds that cover the heavens, will the knights protect the Sienjo? Draw. Yes, master. As clouds that cover the heavens, will, will the, the knights, knights protect, protect the Sienjo? So why are they fighting each other now? Brother versus sister. Hold firm. A cloud knight must never let slip their whistle, nor let slack in their form. Yes, master. Dude, this is hype. This is hype. This is. Fight! Whoa! Master, he doesn't recognize us. So it is with the Morris. <laughs> to become stricken with Mara is to be a long life species. If I too become stricken in times hereafter, you must not hold back. Yes, Master. No such 
of time, humanity waiting, waiting a serious case. case. You should leave, Jing Yuan. Jing Yuan is I want a full anime series. I, I want to wa I want to watch it from the beginning. I miss watching anime. I should go back to watching anime, dude. What is this? Oh look, now he's training someone. Son? His son? A cloud knight must never let slip their weapon, nor let slack in their form. Oh. Though, you'll have to grow a little taller before the knights will have you. I want to be like you, General. I want to be a famous Yanjo legend. <laughs> you do. It is a difficult road. But that's the road you took, right, General? <laughs> Seeing as you're so full of fighting spirit. Yeah. I won't hold back. Um. That 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 that, that, <laughs> that was so f good. What the f I I don't think there's gonna be anything that's gonna beat that now. To be fair, pretty sure like that's gonna be top tier trailer for this entire video. Now we have heaven and earth as a cheese board. Nope, that's chessboard. <laughs> So, have you decided yet? Uh, hmm. Hmm. Your turn, General. Bold indeed. Oh, kids these days. A little too naive. It is a warrior's game. Singular encounters with endless possibilities. Arbiter General. I love him. I love him. That's my character. That's who I'm gonna play as. That's that's my main. He is awesome. Here. What the heck? These trailers go harder than the Genshin Impact ones. What the? Stroke. Oh my god, the music! Oh, so good! You get like Kung Fu Panda vibes. Have you memorized all Again, that? Vintage Jet Li vibes. But only when you forgot. Tai Chi Warrior. So then, huh? General, you're stealing pieces again. Man, I, 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 wa I want to play as Jing Wan. How much do I need to spend? Now we have Jing Wan again. The troop behind a dozing general's wakefulness. Over the millennia, the Xian Zhou have fought numerous battles that have claimed the lives of many heroes and heroines. But a living legend has stood unwaveringly throughout the ages, whose awe-inspiring feats are too many to count. Today's featured star 
is General Jing Yuin of the Xianzhou Lao Fu, a man whose strategic brilliance on the battlefield has given the rise to myths and sagas, as the poets, <clears throat> as the poets of old recount. An army stands with eyes shut fast, unmoved by mortal fame. A searing bolt of lightning casts, revere the bow that reigns. Whoa. And he's Today got a we have giant invited cat. Pu Xuan, also known as Omnisha Spares None, as our special guest. You have invited the right person. If you want to know the real Jing Yuan, there's no one more knowledgeable than myself. I hear you know all the best gossip on the Law Fu. <laughs> Care to spill the tea on General Jing Yuan? What did you just say? <laughs> I mean, the Master Diviner is known for her vast knowledge. I'm sure our audience would be delighted to hear some of your insights. <laughs> Much better. <clears throat> Jing Yuan is a lightning type character following the Lightning type, and he's got a <laughs> Monado! He casts over the battlefield, strikes terror into his enemies. When Jing Yuan uses his basic attack, Glistening Light, he brandishes his glaive and deals lightning damage to a single target. His glaive is no ordinary weapon. It was forged by the Furnace Master using embers from the Rainbow Arbiter's star-destroying Luxero. It is known as Starfall Reverie. And at the general side Starfall is Reverie. the fearsome, golden-clad silhouette of the lightning... something... The lightning-wielding, thunder-clapping, spirit-squashing lord. There it is! What?! Hang on, excuse me? There it is. Th there it is. Wait, 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 wait. The lightning wielding, thunder clapping, spirit squashing lord. That's amazing! There it is. The lightning lord. The lightning lord starts out with a set speed and hits per action. Every time their hits per action increases, so does their speed. The Lightning Lord will perform a follow-up attack when it's their turn, dealing massive lightning damage to a single target and a purport- Holy shit, it's some Final Fantasy summon type shit. Hits per action has an upper limit. After taking action, their speed and hits per action will return to default level. When Genuine is unable to take action, neither can the Lightning Lord. When Genuine is defeated, the Lightning Lord disappears. Using the General's Technique Spirit Invocation before entering combat can increase the Lightning Lord's hits per action at the start of the next battle. Consume a skill point to use Jing Yuan's skill, Rifting Zenith, which deals lightning damage to all enemies. It also increases the Lightning Lord's hits per action, allowing them to deal more damage on the battlefield. Wow. <laughs> you know, watching the Lightning Lord get ordered around by the General reminds me of the relationship I have with my boss. The general enjoys a coveted position, but I'd prefer if he at least pretended to be awake when dishing orders. No wonder people call him the dozing general. No, oh, tea spillage on our five. <laughs> Next topic. The dozing general. That's when that's Jing Yuan unleashes okay. his ultimate Lightbringer. Oh, the white let's have lion a look. slumbering on the battlefield will awaken. Falling asleep on the battlefield is not advised. You can call the lion. Jing Yuan and the Lightning Lord deal lightning damage to all enemies. And the Lightning Lord's hits per action is increased. Whoa. So, let's see how this calculating general fares in the field. I don't need a Jade Abacus to tell you the outcome of this battle. We see Jing Yuan looking confident and relaxed even when faced with three Mara-struck soldiers. <laughs> Seems like he's got this one in the bag. The general excels at fighting multiple enemies, but the Lightning Lord's initial hits per action is relatively low. To muster a considerable amount of power, it's best to increase the Lightning Lord's hits per action first. <laughs> Jing Yuan decisively activates his ultimate Lightbringer. His enemy's HP eviscerated. But that doesn't stop them from trying to make a final comeback. The general skill Rifting Zenith deals lightning damage to all enemies. More than enough to deal with these stragglers. The Lightning Lord's hits per action has also been increased through the use of the General's skill in Ultimate. Whoa, it's gone up to 10 now. Ooh, and the Lightning Lord unleashes their earth-shattering strength, ending proceedings before the enemies had a chance to respond. What? <laughs> yeah, that's a wrap. That's... When it comes Need to finishing em. a fight, Jing Yuan is indeed impeccable. But in terms of tactics and strategy, I dare say I have the advantage. Speaking of which, he's been promising to step aside and let me take up the mantle for a while now. Do you have the relevant experience, Diviner Fu? Relevant? I've been the Master Diviner for ages! Then I wonder if you've heard the saying, 
Those in coveted positions are prone to offer pie in the sky. What? My focus is governing the scene <laughs> show and perfecting what? the art of warfare. Not pies. Okay, yeah. Jing 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 Yuan is an awesome character that that I want to use in the game all the time. Just let that be possible for me, please. And that'd be great. Right! We're on Galactic Roaming version 1.1. Your fake ID info is ready. Your fake this ID place info. Is different from the rest of the space. Oh look at this graffiti artist Splatoon inspired character. Let's get going. We have to move quickly. Not what we're looking for. It's a big I love the music song. already. Oh man. Why why is she so awesome already? You can challenge the space station. But challenge me? Good luck. Welcome to Bellabog's History and Culture Museum. As you can see, the interior looks brand new. But we're in a bit of a bind. Our exhibit was stolen. Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. The music. Never let your guard down in front of your enemy. Whoa! And now, young man, allow me to give you a dignified end. Galactic roaming. Right, I wasn't sure what that trailer was showing me now. And you know what? I'm not going to look at all this stuff because none of this matters to me right now. Until I start playing the game, understanding the concept, finding my main characters that I want to use, then I'll take interest into all of this information. But right now, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to see all the shiny things. Right, now we have Got a Date, Silver Wolf. Oh my god, love the music already. Yeah, this music is bop. She playing video games, dude. As for missions, I can do this in my sleep. Whatever. Let's get this over with. The Anti-Matter Legion? Interesting. Let's see. Just a couple of small fry. But I don't mind an easy mode run. I guess I can play a while. Warm ups over. <laughs> oh my god, I love her. This trailer is so cool. It's so cool. Levels make the most noise. And the music go. goes so hard! Let's go! <sighs> Let's freaking go! I need to know more about her character, man. Silver Wolf. What? That's a massive bounty. Honkai Star Rail's got some of these fresh new approaches to characters. And I'm all here for it, dude. Yes! We have a whole breakdown of her character. Let's go! Let's see what she's actually well, this like. this hacker on the run. Work as Blay. As the invisible empress of Punk Lord, she's an idol for countless others like her. But with the sky-high bounty on her head, some see her more as a walking money tree. Today's star is the Stellaron Hunter's number one hacker, Silver Wolf. Hold up! The Stellaron Hunters are breaching the studio! 
What? Breached. Past tense. Oh! Now, did I hear someone calling Silverwolf a walking money tree? You don't understand. The director wrote that line. I had nothing to do with it. Please don't kill me. Relax. I'm not the real Silverwolf. Just a harmless AI module. You can call me friend. <laughs> so you can't jump out of the internet and beat me up, right? <clears throat> Regardless, as a seasoned professional, I would never compromise my journalistic integrity. I treat my friends like family. Why don't you log into your bank account and check your balance? Huh? That's a lot of zeros. A toast to our new friendship. To an incorruptible friendship. <laughs> Silver Wolf is a quantum type fighter following Kinda the path like in the that whole thing She's that got, got no going time on for there. rules, and in the cyberspace, she's virtually it's invincible. Great. Her basic attack deals quantum damage to us. Oh my god, she's awesome! Look at that weapon! It's got like a Minecraft sword on it. Allies attack and it changes. As well as reducing the target's damage oh, resistance so cool. to that attack type and overall damage resistance for a set number of turns. Silver Wolf will also deal a large amount of quantum damage to a single target. If your enemy doesn't have a weakness, create one. Silver Wolf can inflict different types of bug, which reduces the enemy's attack, defense, or speed. After each attack, she has a chance of inflicting the attacked enemy with one random bug that will last on. for a set number of turns. There are plenty of bugs. Take your pick. During exploration, Silver Wolf can use her technique, Force Quit Program, to instantly attack Force an enemy. Quit program. After entering battle, weakness types are ignored and all enemies take damage and have their toughness reduced. Enemies with their weakness broken in this way will trigger the quantum weakness break effect. God, her weapon is, is awesome. Game for Silver Wolf. The legendary hacker of Punk Lord has all the data she needs at her fingertips. Silver Wolf's ultimate has a chance of reducing the enemy's defense for a set number of turns. It also deals quantum damage to a single target in magnificent fashion. As a master of the skill known as Ether Editing, the data Ether of reality editing. is Silver Wolf's playground. Anyone that tries to cross her might find themselves edited right out of existence. What? Now, Silver Wolf and her allies are facing a powerful foe, but seems no one can break the enemy's toughness. The Trailblazers try attacking, but they only land glancing blows. Silver Wolf's skill can inflict a weakness on the enemy that matches a random ally's attack type, enhancing the versatility of the team. After inflicting the weakness, Silver Wolf unleashes her ultimate. This combo reduces enemy defense and depletes their HP. In the end, the weakened foe collapses under the Trailblazer's ball bat, marking another victory in the great Silver Wolf's career. I mean, why would you want to use the Trailblazer after getting some of these characters? Who's it gonna be? Here, read this one. Let's see here. Breaking news. The online browsing history of celebrated presenter Albert is about to be released? Hmm. There's no such thing as bad publicity, right, Mr. Money Tree? Miss AI sewer friend module thing? This is a joke, right? <laughs> Where'd she go? Gotcha. <laughs> Very good. I do I do actually like the commentary um thing that they got going on. It's very entertaining. So now we're on SGV show video. You don't, I don't know what this is, but we're, we're Summer Game Fest. It's a Summer Game Fest trailer is what it I is. Wish this universe had a few more things to do. Don't you get bored running across the map every day? Silver Wolf. Team Trailblaze back from duty. Mission one accomplished. Where's our next stop? I can't wait. <sighs> Another busy day ahead of us. <laughs> For the clock. Boom. From the boat. The tournament's starting. Great. Let me get warmed up. First. Whoa. Need a hand? Cool. My pleasure. That's fucking awesome. 
Very uh, League of Legends Vi vibes. Can you let me have some fun this time? Code name PlayStation 5. I actually can't wait to play this, man. Oh, so it was the PS5 announcement trailer. Now we have the accolades trailer. Let's have a look and see what this is all about. Really enjoying these trailers, man. I don't know. There seem to be... I don't know, something fresh and new about them that's making me like them a little bit more than the Genshin ones. The best free-to-play game of the year so far. It's crazy. This game literally only came out last year, right? Like, offi officially? Like, fully? This journey lead us starward. I'm loving the characters. Loving the characters. Loving the vibe this game gives off. All around good time, man. So now we have the Traveler and his Oath Lu Lucha trailer. Lu Lucha trailer. The days and years pass us like the wind. But the warning before the journey still rings in my ears. Guard your road. Remember your oath. Luota. Out among the stars, the undercurrent swells beneath the tide. Though I am but a traveling merchant, I too am bound by rules. That which has been lost will be reclaimed. That which is seized must be repaid. Fear not. Eternal sleep is not the end. The dead will return. It's hard okay. for a wanderer to find rest in this world. But I still need a pair of eyes to witness your promise. All right, well, that character gave me Genshin Impact vibes. Yukong, the low-fu hell master, was once a street racer. Excuse me, what's this? Well, we'll find out together, won't we? The commission is in charge of all matters relating to flight, from the Air Force and Commerce all the way down to traffic management. The head of the commission, Yukong, is a Foxian with lightning-fast reflexes that serve her well in aerial combat. A Foxian. They say in younger days, she was a free spirit. Soaring through the Sienjo like the wind itself. Now that her focus has shifted onto official duties, her fiery temperament has burned to a slow ember. But the Sienjo skies will never forget how she ran six red lights in a row to transport a seriously ill patient to safety. She ran Yukon like, like is physically an imaginary ran. Type fighter, <laughs> following the path of harmony. Or like she by may have long since left the battlefield, but her commanding presence remains. Yukong's basic attack, Arrow Slinger, deals imaginary damage to a single target. Her talent, Seven Layers, One Arrow, increases the damage dealt by her basic attack and increases the toughness reducing damage of the current attack. This effect can be triggered again after a set number of turns. Consume a skill point to use Yukong's skill, Emboldening Salvo. 
which grants you Kong a set number of stacks of Roaring Bowstrings up to a set limit. When Roaring Bowstrings is active, the attack of all allies increases. Yukong loses one stack of Roaring Bowstrings with every ally turn. Yukong will not lose Roaring Bowstrings on the turns she uses her skill. During exploration, using Yukong's technique, Chasing the Wind Whoa. increases her movement speed. At the start of the next battle, she obtains two stacks of Roaring Bowstrings. When Yukong uses her ultimate diving kestrel, a cloud kite a is this. ready for takeoff. If Roaring Bowstrings is active, Yukong will increase the critical rate and critical damage of all allies and deal imaginary damage to a single enemy. Yukong claims awesome. to have thrown in the towel long ago with no plans of making a return to the skies of her dreams. Nevertheless, in times of crisis, her hidden skill set comes to the fore. Two allies launch separate attacks on the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, Shapeshifter but with little success. It's at this moment that Yukong uses her skill, increasing the attack of all allies. Under the effects of Roaring Bowstrings, the damage dealt by allies is also increased. Nice. Yukong uses her skill again, followed by her ultimate. You can stack it? enemy damage while also enhancing the effect of Roaring Bowstrings. You can stack? Which increases the critical rate and critical damage of all allies. Whoa. <laughs> In the face of increasingly damaging attacks, no enemy can last forever. Yukong was born as one who truly so take belongs the big to the guy, stars, the two, the two but her wings were broken in the wake of a tragic war. From that point on, she has never spoken of returning to the sky. The years may have quelled the flames, but the desire to return to that sky never died. Perhaps one day, we might see a familiar silhouette take flight once again. Man. That's so cool. I'm really enjoying the look of this game and its characters. Even Immortality Ends version 1.2 trailer. Oh man. The rules of this game are like reality. We all think we have infinite possibilities, but when you really analyze it, every question and answer is constrained by previous choices. Now who's this? She got an Uzi and a sword. And grenades. She's an Apex Legend character. Dragon free. Cool. You think another name and face can blot out the sin of your Who's this? your full potential the power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the ambrosial arbor has come in here and triggered your memory what happens next is in your hands you you and you all three of you are staying right here the karma of past lives changed the world with the present What is going on? Right, now we're on Death Approaches. The name of this character is Blade? Shut the front gate. Stop lying. What a freaking name! The Bloods? Oh, you know when you see those flowers in an anime, it's gonna get really dark. Yep. Sword will be the last thing you see. Okay, coolest intro. Who's this guy? They declare me guilty. It's like Yet the Luke's edgy cousin. This trailer is freaking awesome. Loving the color schemes. 
loving the voice acting, loving the visuals, the music, the setting is on point. <laughs> Who's this? Who's that? <laughs> Until your sin is cleansed, my vengeance will pursue you. That's probably the most badass character I've seen in any of the Hoyoverse games so far. <gasps> yes! <gasps> yes! Sometimes the fiercest currents are hidden beneath the calmest waters. And for today's featured star, nothing could be closer to the truth. He's a man who's passed through fire and back again, his soul concealed beneath a stone cold gaze. Today, we're exploring the secrets of the notorious Stellaron Hunter and wanted criminal, Blade. Whoa, a wanted criminal? And we're out of time already. See you the next one, folks. Hello, Albert. Miss Kafka, please, I, I didn't mean to offend the Stellaron Hunters. <laughs> Listen to me. Continue with the program that voice uh, great idea miss kafka that voice Blade so... is a wind type character following the path of destruction he wields a fragmented sword that cuts through all obstacles in his way his basic attack shard sword deals wind damage to a single target consume a skill point and a set amount of hp to use blade's skill and initiate hellscape which increases damage dealt for a set number of turns using this skill does not regenerate energy and won't end the turn while Hellscape is active, Blade's basic attack is enhanced to Forest of Swords. Forest of Swords consumes a set amount of HP and deals wind damage to an enemy and adjacent targets based on Blade's attack and max HP. Blade's skill cannot be retriggered while Hellscape is active, and using his skill or enhanced basic attack when his HP is too low will reduce it to one. His combat is easy on the eye, but it comes at a cost. In the form of work-related injuries? <laughs> exactly. Luckily, Blady doesn't need to sue. <laughs> when Blade loses HP, he gains a charge which lasts for a set number of turns. When charges are fully okay. stacked, Blade unleashes a follow-up attack on all enemies and recovers a set amount of HP. Wait. The damage dealt is based on his attack and max what? HP. All charges are consumed after unleashing the follow-up attack. So getting hit power is an advantage for this price, character. But that prize can become power in turn. And during exploration, use Blade's technique Karma Wind to instantly attack an enemy. After entering battle, some of Blade's nice. HP is consumed and he deals wind damage based on a set percentage of its max HP to all enemies. Enemies. When Blade unleashes his ultimate, his inner turmoil is released as his sword lays bare the line between life and death. His current HP is set to 50% of his max HP, and he deals wind damage to a single target as well as damaging adjacent enemies. Damage dealt is based on Blade's attack, max HP, and the cumulative lost HP he sustained during the battle. Remember that this cumulative HP loss has a limit. And the count is reset after every use of his ultimate. Blade right. may never okay. witness the paradise on the opposite shore, but he's generous when it comes to sending others. Blade consumes his own HP, casts his skill to initiate Hellscape, consumes his HP a second time, and sweeps the enemy away with his forest of swords. And the greater the enemy resistance, the more charges Blade accumulates. All attacks that fail to defeat Blade only make him stronger. When charges are fully stacked, Blade brandishes his sword and launches a follow-up attack against all enemies, nice. restoring a set amount of HP in the process. He then uses his ultimate, reducing his HP to 50% of his max HP and sending all enemies to the opposite shore. <laughs> what? A non-refundable, all-inclusive one-way ticket that's beautiful. to paradise. Miss Kafka, were you satisfied with today's program? 
Very. Although it did kind of sound like someone had a gun to your head. Come on, really? <laughs> Everything I said was straight from the heart. Including the warm welcome you gave me? Straight from the heart? I'm glad to hear it. So you're interested in paradise? The opposite shore. Perhaps I can arrange for Blade to... Uh, <laughs> on second thought, uh, I fancy a staycation this year. <laughs> <laughs> Blade is awesome. He definitely is a character that would take a lot of getting used to. The fact that taking hits is an advantage. You have to learn to manage that character very well to make him very effective. EP, Samu Dartha. <laughs> What a performance! Man, that music was so good. That was Chinese, right? Now we have a dramatic irony Kafka trailer. Oh, yeah, we're gonna see what this Kafka one's all about. Her voice actress is amazing. Very, uh, it's like a character you hear from, like, Devil May Cry or something. Real edgy, deep, confident voice. I love it. Oh my god, Don't even this trailer, dude. What the Listen hell? Listen to me. Wasn't it you? Who invited me? Boy, she can pull strings. Stop! The silk is too fragile to be a threat. Unless you're more fragile than the silk. Case in point. She's awesome. She is literally a character ripped out of the Devil May Cry universe. I love everything about her. The characters that I've seen so far in this part of our reactions are like characters that I want in my team. Now we're going to get to see her breakdown. Today's featured star is brave, elegant, and fashionable. But that doesn't make up for being a uh, morally bankrupt fugitive now, does it? She uses her spirit whisper to ensnare hearts and minds, trapping her prey in a web of lies and deceit. Web of and lies. And courageously escaped that web myself firsthand? <laughs> I should know. We're talking about none other than Kafka, the most dangerous member of the Stellaron Hunters. In today's episode, we've invited Miss Himiko, a follower of Akaveli who's rumored to have had several encounters with Kafka. Hi, everyone. I'm Himiko. As for my encounters with Kafka, they were little more than footnotes to a bigger journey. <sighs> Only valiant heroes like you or me <laughs> could ever cross paths with Kafka and come out on top. Ah, <laughs> they told me you had a good sense of humor, Albert. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> now, according to her wanted notice, Kafka is a lightning-type character following the path of Nihility. She's a stranger to fear, but has no trouble scaring the heck out of her enemies. Her basic attack deals lightning damage to a single target. 
when Her using overall your steel, aesthetic Kafka is wields amazing. Her sword and deals increased lightning damage to a single target, as well as a set amount of damage to adjacent enemies. If the target is afflicted with DOT, they immediately receive additional damage as a set percentage of their current active DOT. As if her spirit whisper wasn't enough, Kafka is also highly skilled with various weapons. If she feels the need for weapons, perhaps her spirit whisper isn't so great after all. Speaking of weapons, Miss Himiko, do you smell gunpowder? <laughs> Explosives are my specialty. <laughs> when an ally uses a basic attack on an enemy, Kafka launches a follow-up attack and deals lightning damage to the target. There is also a chance of inflicting the target with the same shock effect as her ultimate for a set number of turns, which can only be triggered once per turn. During exploration, use Kafka's technique, Mercy is Not Forgiveness, to instantly attack all enemies within a set range. After entering battle, she deals lightning damage to all enemies, and there's a chance that all enemies will become shocked for a set number of turns. When Kafka unleashes her ultimate, she dispatches her enemies with the graceful Twilight go. Trill. In addition to dealing lightning damage to all enemies, there's also a chance of inflicting enemies with shock, as well as immediately dealing additional Whoa. damage to currently shocked targets. Shock lasts for a set number of turns. After unlocking a specific trace, when Kafka unleashes her ultimate, she immediately deals damage to enemies by triggering their current active DOT. That is so awesome. criminals, dealing with unexpected battles is just part of their routine. An ally makes the first move, launching a basic attack and inflicting wind shear on the enemy. With her talent in effect, Kafka swiftly delivers a follow-up attack, inflicting the enemy with shock. She then uses her skill, dealing damage in addition to triggering both wind shear and shock damage. A classic Kafka tactic. Leveraging the DOT effects that her allies inflict on the enemy. Before they can react, Kafka unleashes her ultimate on the enemy, shocking them in a web of flying bullets and lightning strikes. <laughs> Ooh, complete annihilation. All those flashy moves seem like overkill, if you ask me. Hmm, Miss Himiko, mind if I ask what the beef is between you two? Why take kindly to someone who holds up your train journey? Not the whole story? Well, there's the unethically implanting a Stellaron, manipulating people's lives, speaking in riddles. <sighs> All that unwarranted attention. That sounds terrible, right, Trailblazers? There's some really great characters being introduced to this game, dude, and we're not even halfway there yet. Let's! Okay! We're, we're more than halfway there. Actually, no, we're about halfway there. Probably a little bit under that, considering there's going to be more trailers added to the list. But this was awesome. Wasn't this awesome? Did you enjoy it? There's something about this game that feels so fresh and new. And something that I've been waiting to see from Hoyoverse for a while. And I just love all the characters. I really love the characters. I still find the story really confusing. So hopefully when I play the game, I'll understand a little bit more. But what I got... From the music, from the visuals, from the character interactions, the, the, the overall chemistry, the, the explanation of characters' abilities. Like, this seems like a top-notch experience and I'm all here for it. So if you guys want to see my reactions to the game for the first time, which will be happening probably as soon as next week once we get the reactions to all of these trailers, including the new Genshin stuff out of the way, then make sure you do subscribe to the channel. That's all you have to do with the notification bells turned on. And... It's going to be a great time. I look forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be awesome. And it's, it's just something new to me to new for me to play in my spare time and my downtime as well. So I'm very excited. Anyway, boys and girls, lads and ladies, that was Honkai Star Rail. That was part one of our reaction marathon. Hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like if you did. Let's go for a like goal. I don't know. Two and a half thousand likes would be great. Can we do that? I think we can do that. But in the meantime, lads, look after yourselves, have a great rest of your day, and as always, stay geeky, stay cool, be awesome, and be happy, and I'll see you dudes in my next Honkai Star Rail video. See you later, dudes.